If you're a Star Wars fan who was already upset with the story direction of the sequel trilogy or the Disney shows, or even how Lucasfilm and Disney behave as a company, do plot holes and bad characterization even matter? A lot of the criticism of Kenobi I hear from reviewers like Critical Drinker suggests every new addition that Disney adds dilutes and destroys the original intent and story. I gave up on Disney Plus after the Gina Carano drama, and I gave up on Star Wars shows after Boba Fett sucked. Anyone who watches new Disney stuff and was already upset with the direction, you only have yourself to blame when you watch and review the new stuff. Lucasfilm has made it very clear what direction they want to take the series, even if it's something we don't want. Watching it and giving it attention really doesn't solve anything but embolden agitator factions within Lucasfilm. Agitators like Pablo Hudago, who made fun of one of the biggest Star Wars channels on YouTube. A cancer survivor that despite everything bad that goes on with Star Wars, he still continues to make Star Wars content. And he does so trying to be very positive. I think we live in a very bitter and jaded society, unfortunately. And that's why people are so protective over old media, even when they've completely written it off and said they're not gonna consume it anymore. If you feel Disney shows and movies are badly written nowadays, then you shouldn't be surprised when it is badly written and doesn't meet your expectations. I have not seen the show, only clips, of certain fight scenes. My cousin says he likes the final episode, so I might watch some of it when I go on vacation this summer, but I already know the ending, and I can choose to regard it all as fan fiction, because I still have my 2011 Blu-ray collection of the Lucas movies. I still remember Clone Wars and Mandalorian season one and two. Anything that happens going forward, if it's good, if it's cool, then that's great. And if it's bad, it doesn't concern me. And given my vocal feelings on Disney, them screwing up and turning more people away like they turned me away, why should I care about that if all they are doing is hurting themselves? The reality is I'm moving on from Star Wars, and, and even though I like to look back and look at it, I no longer feel the drive to consume all its media. I was told the story of Luke and Anakin Skywalker. That's the core story. I have that story embedded in my mind and in my heart. Nothing Disney does can ever pervert that story or take it away from me. No amount of retcons or plot holes or bad characterization can diminish it. Not unless I allow it. I do hope that one day Disney and Lucasfilm see the error of their ways that how they treat people online and how they treat the legacy characters matters to people. Attempts to diminish old characters to support new characters is only gonna make people resent those new characters. The way Boba Fett was treated in his own show versus how the Mandalorian was treated says everything. But Mando didn't need propping up. People already liked him. Same with Fennec Shan and Cara Dune, who you got rid of. Star Wars was heading in the right direction, and then somewhere down the line it veered off course. Since I can no longer trust Star Wars for quality or consistency, I'm just moving on to other science fiction and fantasy franchises, and hopefully something new and better and similar to Star Wars will come out from a major studio. What are your thoughts on Disney canon and plot holes? Let me know in the comments, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out Arcane if you haven't seen it already. It's really good.